What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to change a spark plug on your Briggs & Stratton Elite Series Generator. Alright, the only thing you're going to need for this job is a 1316 socket, an extension, which is optional, the ratchet, and the replacement spark plug. I'll leave a link in the description below for that. The spark plug is located just above the valve cover here. So you notice the spark plug wire leading up to the spark plug, so you want to remove that first. It's a little bit tough to see, but there's the spark plug right there. You're then going to take the 13 16 socket and place it onto the spark plug. You need to do this because there's not a lot of clearance to fit the ratchet and the socket on together. Then attach the ratchet and loosen the spark plug by turning it counterclockwise. Here's the old one, it's got some carbon built up on it. And here's what the new one looks like for comparison. You also want to check the gap before you install the new plug. This machine calls for a gap of 0 .030, so make sure you check that before you reinstall the new plug. So you're then gonna take the new spark plug and start hand threading it down into the cylinder. Um, and just a little word of note, uh, most manufacturers of spark plugs do not want you to put any types of anti-seize onto the threads of the spark plugs. Because when you're torquing it down, it messes with the torque specs and they already have a coating that kind of helps them be released from the cylinder head when you need to remove them. Once you have it tightened down by hand, you're then gonna take the spark plug wrench. Once you feel it's starting to seat, you're then gonna tighten it one half turn beyond that. And since you can only get about one tenth of a turn on this ratchet before it hits the frame, you need to do this about five times to get it seated down properly. Make sure you don't over tighten this because you don't want to strip out the cylinder head. Also, you'll feel the resistance when it's seated down correctly. Then the last thing you want to do is reconnect the spark plug wire. Then if you want to, you can start the generator just to make sure everything's installed correctly. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing, and we'll see you in the next one.